Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm underwater. And it really sounds like I'm inside of a suit, somehow. There's a, um... There's a gentleman nearby, and I really don't want him to see. Welcome back to Soma. This is episode friggin' uh, mm, nine. I think I think this is nine. This is a fresh new play uh, day, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait back over here. Oh, man, I um, I left myself in a terrible situation at the end of my last play um time play time what, what are we even recording session how about that we'll call it a recording session we'll call it what it is and um this is pretty uh pretty precarious i'm underwater let me do a little bit of a recap is i think a recap is is in order uh my name is simon jarrett we still don't have any evidence that Simon Jarrett is not still sitting inside of a chair in a doctor's office somewhere, currently undergoing a really experimental brain scan. Uh, he goes through a brain scan, or he initiates the brain scan, and then all of a sudden he finds himself in uh, the future. The future, which is right here. Um, we have since discovered while uh, walking around the facilities, while we were indoors, uh, we find out that we are underneath the, uh, what is this, the Atlantic Ocean. We're somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I, I think it's the Atlantic. We're in, this is a, a giant ass geothermal uh, power station. At least the section that I was just most recently in was a, a power station. I don't know what the other facilities or what the other uh, connections to the power station might be. Okay, listen. This buddy needs to, this buddy needs to look away. I can kind of see his line of sight. Uh, now, we found ourselves, yes, in that power station. There was a communication room that I got into and I was able to patch myself in and we were able to speak to a lady named Catherine very briefly. Very briefly. She told us to head over to Lambda. And that's the that's that's exactly what we're doing. What exactly we uh, I mean I suppose Mr. Simon Jarrett is every bit as confused as I am about the about the situation. He doesn't uh, he doesn't know what the hell is going on and I don't either. One of the majorest things about not knowing what the hell is going on is that while we were communicating with Mrs. Catherine over in Lambda, uh, the the roof collapsed, and then all of a sudden, goddamn, <laughs> water everywhere, and um, uh, we find ourselves drowning. We black out at some point, and uh, yeah, and then we wake back up. Even more interesting, we wake back up. And then, uh, I think we find, I think a suit kind of gets on top of us, or we turn into robots, or something along those lines. I don't know. Uh, so, ultimately, right now we are fine underwater. We're still somewhat in danger, because it's a, it seems like we're not completely alone down here. Surprise, surprise. So, uh, so that's that so far, man. What the hell? Hopefully, uh, Mrs. Catherine, Ms. or Mrs. I, uh, I don't know, doesn't really matter, um, will be able to provide us with some kind of answers, although she's probably every bit as confused as we are. None of this makes any damn sense. Although, if I were forced to make some sense out of this, I could maybe posit something. Something that I hadn't thought of in all of the previous times that I have sat down with this game. Something that, uh... I guess it's a little bit more obvious and maybe maybe a little reductive almost. The uh, if if this is actually a a brain scan, if Mr. Simon Jarrett is really somewhere having his brain scanned, then I suppose it would make sense that whatever uh, whatever sensations um, that he might be undergoing right now would require or would I guess um, try to stimulate parts of the brain in order to enable them to be scanned at all by Mr. Munchie's brain scanner. 
and I doubt very much that it would be a very good idea to just, you know, directly um, you apply electric pulses. Uh, that would probably be a terrible idea. That may get... I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to head. Probably this way? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to f follow that. So, with that in mind, then, I suppose this might be a very, very complicated... Not screensaver. It has much more utility than that. But, um... It must be intending to get Mr. Simon Jarrett to think and manually whoop, and manual and uh, manually uh, and I don't know and stimulate his own brain so that it can be skinned. Sure you do. There's so far no indication. <laughs> that uh, that the uh, the robot monster knows that I'm right here. So he's really just talking to himself over and over and over. These robots really do seem to think that they are people. However, uh, I am I am presuming it's a massive presumption that these robots have every intent to kill me. And why wouldn't I presume that? I mean, yeah, I mean... Geez, that guy's right there, huh? I don't know how to... I don't know how to say it, but like... Where... Where is he? He's further away. He might... I might be fine to walk. Okay. Oh boy, do I not like being underwater. I have I have taken quite some time to try to get comfortable again with this idea, this whole idea, I guess, the concept of being underwater. I've spoken about this in the previous episode. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. There's nothing about it that I like. I really like underwater stuff. I can actually be underwater, you know, not, oh, is this? Oh. So, uh, Okay, okay. No, keep it together. What the hell is this thing? Oh, hello there, little buddy. I'm gonna hide. I'll tell you what. I don't know what I did. I don't think I need to know just yet what I did. I don't need to know a thing. Hey, buddy. Buddy, you don't seem so bad. You got a green light. Green lights are usually good, right? Upsilon B. Are you a little repair bot? Yeah, you must be a little repair bot. Okay. Uh, I have a friend. That's unusual in a... Uh, in a horror game of this... Of this variety, I suppose. Did he just say hi? I don't know. I can't think of a single time when I might have had a friend in a horror game that I've played lately. And that's an interesting kind of thing, isn't it? Something worth talking about. There's almost never anything remotely like friends. And of course, that makes sense. There's a, there's a baddie somewhere around here. I got the glitches. <laughs> okay, let me try to... Let me try to keep it together. Let me try to find somewhere... Somewhere fairly dark. I don't know what the vision is like on these bad guys, but... Uh, I imagine it might not be excellent down in the depths as we are. But, uh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Did... did <laughs> Did you actually have something to say there, or are you just sort of burping? Oh, yeah, well, he's making some kind of sound. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's almost never anything like friendship in a game like this, in a, in a horror game. And be feeling alone is such a big deal. And it makes perfect sense. If you feel like you like would be able to handle any old situation at all, of course, you know, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be terrified, you wouldn't be wouldn't be nearly afraid. Is this where I have to go in? Hmm. 
Um, of course, my first inclination is to think, well, of course, this guy's gonna die. This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna eat it at the first possible opportunity. It's gonna be dreadful. I'm gonna be scared by it. <laughs> and why not? You know? Um, I suppose thought number two is that this guy is a liability. If anything's going to indicate to a bad guy, to somebody who might want to eat me, uh, well, a guy with a light <laughs> might be exactly the wrong thing to have around. It's kind of too bad. I wonder if there was an opportunity. I mean, that seems to me like the type of thing that we could have very easily skipped. Um, it reminds me, of course, of, uh, of the... Is it a wolf? Is it a dog? From Resident Evil 4? You remember that, don't you? Everybody's played that game. And, uh, and if you don't, well, you'll have a bit of a harder time to fight a particular bad guy later, without spoiling anything. Um, so it's definitely, definitely, oh, there he is. Definitely a good plan. to rescue a potential friend. I think I saw... I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that I saw a bad guy over there. I don't know where he is now, though. Oh, I don't like you right now, buddy. Mr. Buddy. Oh, no, I see him. I see him. I don't know how far I want to follow him. I know at some point he's going to turn around. See, he's turning around right now. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can barely see him. Oh, no, I, right now he's invisible. So, okay, we got... Uh, man, this is a dangerous part of the world. How did these robots get out here? How did these robots even got, get the impression that they... Why do I even have the impression that they're, that they're trying to kill me? I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting quite a lot of... Uh, of my own projections upon the game. This seems like a pretty safe spot. But of course, this being a, uh, a horror game, I can only presume that, uh, any that anything that I discover out in the field has every intent to kill me. Hey, uh, is maybe is this guy maybe really just like a scanny bud? Like, he's... He looks ahead to see if there's any threat. Will he be the? Will he, Will he take a hit for me, <laughs> so to speak? I feel like the bad guy might be somewhere around here. I don't know if I can maybe hide by this thing. Oh, yeah, it was definitely there. Oh, there's two of them. Is that right? The robot doesn't seem to care about Mr. Buddy. <laughs> this is a little bit uncomfortable. Whoop. Nope. I don't want you to see me. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This little guy is obstructing my view. Whoa. He's obstructing my view of the FOV on the bad guy. I don't like that at all. Field of view, that's... That's a term. Would I be better off going over there, yonder? I mean, that's where the lights are. Oh. Oh, to not be discovered. <laughs> I'm not even convinced, really, that this is the correct direction. But, if, I, I mean, kind of, of course, of course it is. I didn't see any other paths. Maybe I should go check. It could be that there is another path over by that uh, really big glowy thing that I was by before. See, you can kind of see it over there. Yeah, that. Perhaps there would be a second Mr. Buddy. 
I could do with a second, Mr. Buddy. I wouldn't put it past him either to have just a whole red herring section, so to speak. It wouldn't be unusual in a horror game to give you some confusing layout so that you wouldn't have any idea where the right direction was. Ooh. There was a little bit of audio glitching. Maybe not... Maybe not the kind of glitching I need to really be paying attention to. This is such a weird circumstances, man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know what to think about all of this. I don't think anybody in their right mind would know what to think about all of this. <laughs> we're underwater. Somehow we're alive and we're breathing just fine. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't be fine at all. No way. Uh, like we were completely drowning. And then all of a sudden, nope. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Shoot. Are the bad guys always going to have red lights that I'll be able to identify? That's a question. It's probably not a question that they're going to answer. I bet that... Mm -mm. Okay, no, that's going back the way I came. Got it. So far, no. All right. Oh, okay. Functioning stuff. Alright, cool, cool, cool. This light doesn't... Ah, there it is! A oh, yuck. <laughs> that light... So... Something is giving me the glitches. I don't... Mm, I don't know. But what is it that's giving me the glitches? There's so little about, uh, about this game that indicates just what the hell is going on. I kind of like that. I kind of hate it, too. I like it. I mean, I guess it's kind of, in a strange sense, being unfamiliar is itself kind of familiar in a horror game. Because why would you expect to know what the hell is going on, number one? And, you know, that's a, that's a constant thing that you can count on. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if they just gave us too much of a, too much of an exposition dump, well, there would be nothing left to discover. There would be no mystery. I suppose at this point I'm just grasping for anything that I can talk about while not being terrified. <laughs> it really appears like this is the only option ahead of me. And for some reason, I this, this is something that I don't get, okay? There was a little bit of glitchiness over there, but there was no indication besides that that there was a bad guy. That there was a mean Mr. Robot, or Mrs., with any inclination whatsoever that they would want to kill me. With any project, like, that I, you know, nothing that I could project upon with such expectations as murder. Okay, no, there, I can see it. I can see it kind of sideways. It's weird how cameras work sometimes. I know I'm using a camera right now. But it's weird. Sometimes you see things more clearly sideways than you do straight on. Now, is that a bad guy over there? No? D mm, yeah? Uh, maybe... That's a red light. I, I know that much. I can, I, can <laughs> I can tell color. Brilliant. Is this really the direction I was... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Red in a sea of blue. How about that? That's a interesting design for a drone, I guess. Did it just bump itself on that kind of boat? That's a little funny. Okay, well. You're going that way. I'm going this way. Part. Don't mind me if I get lost in this direction. Just as long as nobody tries to kill me, I'm gonna really hope, really hope that he's not gonna look over here. I really got this strong feeling that this guy's light is going to give me away. 
Yeah, I don't like that. Even if Mr. Buddy is not actually going to, uh, is not actually going to do anything, it's, you know, trigger the bad guy, I don't know. Hey, soil station, that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Huh? Am I supposed to be do- Jesus. I'm gonna hide over here where it might be a little bit, um, harder to get me? It seems like that's exactly the type of thing that would attract the attention of a very mean monster. Wow. Thanks, little guy. And then he just goes. How modest. Didn't need... Didn't need thanks. Okay. Well. Oh, come on! Okay, and uh, close you. Come on. Okay. Now, in all likelihood, I might be safe. I think I might be safe. <laughs> For now. Boy, life will always find a way, huh? That's great. Just tell everybody I'm here. What's going on? I can't move the mouse. Oh! It's loading. <laughs> Let's hope the shuttle still work. Oh, that's dark! Oh, that's dark. Can I take this light with me? Oh lord, that's dark. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? I swear to God, I just decided to press F. <laughs> okay. That shouldn't have made sense. I shouldn't have discovered that I would be able to do that. Boy, that's dark. But I'm... Kind of Is... <clears throat> I don't know how to feel, man. It, was there some, like, sub subliminal messaging to inform me that... Okay, look, I promise I'm playing this blind. I have no idea what's going on, I really... <laughs> okay, well, anyway. We're gonna keep moving forward. But at this point, we're gonna have to leave this to the next episode. Join me in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna discover just how long this flashlight lasts. <laughs> See you then.